Hey guys, this is Eric Kelly. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to do a website landing page wireframe. Um, really easy steps to do so you can start it in less than 30 minutes and get it completed. So make sure you stay tuned to learn more about it. And also too guys, um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done it before. Um, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, if you want to learn more about how to build and sell digital products online, um, we're going to be putting up videos every Tuesday and Thursday. I know this video is coming out a little late, um, but we're going to be putting out um, basic videos on Tuesday and Thursday. And we're going to look into going to three videos a week pretty soon. Um, I have some amazing new content that I want to express with you, but let's get straight into it. So the first thing we're going to start off with, with creating your um, actual landing page. Um, is I, I, I'm doing it pretty simple. I'm not doing it in Photoshop or Illustrator um, Just because most of you might not have the have these tools So I'm doing a tool that most everyone has um, and which is paint. Um, I don't know the exact Mac Mac um, Equivalent, but I'm pretty sure that um, Mac has one or two as well um, at the end of this video I'll leave a link down to that one as well. All of these are free so, um, so So let's get started um, so the first thing is going to be, um, we need to understand the purpose of the wireframe. And what I mean by the purpose, um, I basically mean, um, what, what is the landing page for? Um, so if the landing page is for, um, trying to sell shoes, is it for, um, to get, um, email signups for your, um, blog, or is it just, to, um, to get more, um, is it just to sell a certain product or so? We need to understand that and go through the process of putting that down. And once we understand the purpose, we can go more in depth into the audience. And basically, who would this? Who does this serve? Who do we want to go through um, this actual um, page and go through every single thing? Um, so that's the next step right there. And I made tons of videos on how to determine your audience. I'll link to those in the, in the description so you can check those out um, too as well. And then um, really in the audience portion, you really just want to define um, who's Who's going to be coming um, and viewing this um, landing page? Um, why are they going to be doing it? Why is it important to them? And then where are they going to be coming from? And then once you understand these things, um, then you can build a really define your audience really well in, in just a short gist of it. I'll link down to the video below too as well. So the, the so the next thing will be the network, and this is this is what I mean by network. This is basically um, where are you going to be driving traffic from? If you're driving traffic from Facebook driving traffic from Google, um, AdWords, um, or you're driving traffic from YouTube, social media, um, you know, Outbrain, or any of the sources, um, this is where you will put down that right there. Um, just so just so you will be able to know. So like so basically um I'm gonna go through this whole list as well um with a with a demo one that I create, which I'm gonna put on GitHub at the very end of this course so you can be able to download. So after after we go through the the, the network and we decide on um, on basically which platform we're going to be using um, we go into the goals what is our goals our goals to get someone to sign up get someone to pay for something or um, is it just to get awareness and get someone to watch something so that's the, that's what our goals for design is what we're going to spend the majority of our part on doing the mock-up and then um, we're going to finish off this video from there so let's go through the purpose so basically um, I'm creating a landing page this is a simple landing page that you can use to this landing page is just to, um, just to convert. Um, there's a reason um, for someone to subscribe to my email letters. It's a um, landing page specific for that. So it's just email sign up. And, and the next thing is um, for the audience is going to be people who are looking to basically to learn how to um, sell digital products. People who are looking to learn how to sell digital products. Yep. And so that'll be the audience. And then the network is going to do, I'm going to be driving traffic from here from YouTube, YouTube ads, YouTube video ads. And then the, then the goal is to get them to sign up to my email list. And the goal and the purpose are kind of um, similar, um, but it is, but they are, they can be different um, as well.
So basically, this this landing page is on the purpose of it is basically to get email signups. The goal is to get um basically you need to switch these two actually. So basically, I'm trying to take my YouTube audience and show, show them that I have a blog. So that's how it should be. Okay. So the next thing is going to be what we're going to spend the majority of the time of this video on is the wireframe. Because once we understand the top portion, we can really go in depth into building out um, the mock-up. So the tool we're going to use is Paint. It's very simple to use um, and it's free for um, everyone on Windows. So let's get straight started. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to get straight into the above the fold section. And also too, just to make sure when you're in Paint that you want to go ahead and resize it. Go to Pixel. Take off maintaining aspect ratio and resize it to 12, 1200 pixel horizontal. And then do vertical at, at, at 90, 900, 900 just because this one. But you can change it on different ones if you need to go longer down just by pulling down the page. So that's what we're going to start off with. And we're going to set our page to that. And then we're going to go ahead and start with the above the fold elements, which is going to be the first one we're going to do is start out with um, the navigation. So also too, a quick tool, quick little thing just to draw straight lines on here um, that you can do is that um, you can hold, basically you hold down shift, hold down shift and then just drag the line across. And then also we're going to go through and we're going to change up the color of this one, the size of it. And that looks right. Okay. And basically that's going to be a navigation bar. Um, we're going to have some some navigation items over here as well. You just want to kind of center. You don't have to put too much time on this. It's just a just a mock up too. So remember we're going to go through and do this pretty fast. You can clone this. Go through and copy. We just go back to paste, and then we have our we have some items. Let's do this a couple more times. And it doesn't have to be straight. This is basically just to get the general idea of the idea down for, for the landing page. And we're gonna when we go into design, we're gonna fix this up a lot more. But that's what basically what you do. And basically, um, we only really need. We only need two of these. Actually, I did too many on these. But these are going to be for um, the sections below. Um, I don't recommend you creating um, these to go out, basically go downward. I mean, to actually go to um, to different pages from your landing page. These should be just for to keep them on the page and just be anchor text. So once we have the editor, we're also going to put an image over here of our logo. Which is boxes to um, just to show where the logo is going to be. We're going to draw the end of the fold, which we're going to go back over to um, the straight line tool. Just cancel that. Um, draw a straight, straight line. And on this one too, um, what we're going to do is we're going to have a, um, we're going to have a hero section, which would be this section up here. And this, on this, in this hero section, we're going to put a contact us form in a video. And on the con and then on the video, we're gonna do it from here. And we're gonna make it a little bit wide. And that's gonna be our video. Um, we're gonna probably just put like a little text right here so we know it's a video. This is just a simple format too as well um, that you'll find very common across a lot of different videos, different um, wireframes and different um, landing page designs. And then right on the side, we're going to do our most important element, which is which is, which is is going to be our contactless form. You just draw this in there. You can make it similar sizes, line it up to here.
And then we probably scoot it over just a little bit, which you can do with the select tool. Um, also, too, it is hard to change some things in here. So this is really fine night um, in here. And that's why the other ones work a little bit better. But this is um, just for case someone doesn't have exactly what they need. Let's move these items over, these navigation items over a little bit. And then uh, so that right there is going to be our contact this form. Let's add a couple boxes in there really quick. And basically what I like to do, um, some people are kind of different on this right here. I'm going to add the button first. What I, what I like to do is just keep it really simple. Um, I'll, basically on the contact form, there'll just be a, a button and then an input form for email and a name. I know that when you do take the name off, um, you do get a little bit better conversion rates. Um, you get less stuff that people have to fill in. Um, but it's basically on, on what you want to do. I like to do that because I can customize my um, actual emails to them. So once we do that, we can go back over here. We can copy this again. And then not the, and that's right. There's going to be our inputs. Then, then we're gonna over to our top. We're gonna put some check marks, just so basically, um, where we're gonna put some more content right here on these portion. We're gonna just do these as just stars for now. We're gonna copy that. Move it over a little bit. And copy both of these. Then, once we have those two set up, this is where we're going to basically put in some extra benefits right here or some features basically of why they need to do it. Um, then, now that's going to be the contact form. I'm going to go ahead and just label this real quick. I like to label mine, you don't have to because um, you are creating, but just, just in case anyone else. Um, ever creates it, ever goes through and has to work off of my mark markups. I like to just label it just because. And then once we do that there, then that's the that's for the most fact is the above elements. We went through this is the hero section right here, and then we went over the uh, over the menu item, and then um also to um uh, going over you can put a header right here if you wanted to. I'm not going to. I'm going to use these sections to really drive on my point in this video as well. Um, the video thumbnail. And then also too, we put some check marks just for some extra benefits, and then a sign up form. So this is the brotherfold, brotherfold elements, and this is what really should show up at the very beginning, um, and, and to be the first things that load up on the page. And the reason for this is because these are the most important elements, and it's the first thing they see. And then also too, we're not going to worry about designs yet. That that'll be on another video. Um, but this is just for this portion right here. So the next thing we're going to go into is the benefits section. And this right here, um. Just um, just for this one, we can do something pretty simple. We can do um, just a couple different icons. Let's just grab out some of these circles right here, space them out. Um, let's clone them. And we're gonna space these apart. They don't have to be perfect, like I said before. This is just this is really to create the um, the wireframe as fast as possible. So over here and then we'll move the one in the middle over a little bit. And then right here, this is going to just be the benefits. And then basically what I like to do for the benefits, I like to just draw um, basically lines right here for the content. So this would be the header. And then I'm going to go in and put the content. Let me get off of that one. Change the size right here for those below content. Do remember to use shift when you slide over, so you can get the get a straight line. And then figure these look good. And then I'm going to easily go ahead and just clone these over to the other one. 
And this is really just go through the basics right here just to show where your content is going to be placed at. You can, you can just put these in right here. This is really just to go ahead and knock your ideas out and get them kind of digitized a little bit. If you don't like um, just sketching it out or if you think you don't have the skills to be able to do that, um, this is something that you can get your ideas in front of people. So this even, even if you have a developer that you want to do, you can go ahead and like kind of sketch out what you want done so they can go through and do it and make it a lot easier. So this right here will be the actual benefit section. Um, there's going to be an image or icon in these right here and then it's going to be um, basically just the title and then the text right here for, for the benefit. So now that we see that we're closest to the bottom right now and that we're running out of space, let's pull this down a little bit. So we can add in the credibility section, which is going to be more just about you and just explaining more basically about, about um, you as a person. Um, so let's go ahead and just create this section real quick. This is going to, just going to be a box. Make it the same width. And then basically in here we're gonna have we have a photo in here, um, which would be a, a headshot of us. I'll make sure you use um, sh make sure you use Shift two to get perfect rounded circles in in paint. Put that over there, and then from there we're gonna um, we're gonna just put in a couple more just lines about basically about us. Put our title name, same thing as we did before. The name, the name will go through. Oh, put the wrong one. That'll be the name, and then we'll put more details about ourselves in the below sections. And also too, this is something I've done too. Even if you go into a meeting and you want to show a client kind of what it one looks like, but you don't have time to design it completely out, I've used this right here to get clients to as well to get them to see the basically what I was thinking about and just to get everything laid out really fast and really easy for them. It makes the design process so much easier when we've been on landing pages for people. Let's scoot this up. And then from there, so that that'll be the main design for that portion. And then from there, um, we're gonna have just a button at the very end of it, which will get them, click them back to the top. Then we're gonna do some kind of little decent, different, um, cool looking design right here and cut off. And then once we have that right there, we're going to put the button right here at the bottom. Um, just a square button, a rectangle bank button. Place it in the middle. And then right there, we have our complete wireframe. As you can see, we have our logo. We have our menu items, which this right here will link to this, to the benefit section. This right here will link to the actual um, credibility section. And this right here will link back up to here. And these buttons will probably, these buttons, we should keep the text similar on here. And then we have a perfectly decent wireframe that we can use in the next stage to go over into the design stage after we go through mobile and design that one first because a lot of people are using mobiles nowadays. So um, so this is basically what you end up with. Um, and I'll put this down, put a link down to this in the video as well so you can be able to see how I got to this. Um, but guys, um, tell me what you think about this right here. Tell me if you're going to use this to build your landing page design. Um, it is a free tool that you possibly can use. Um, just, just let me know too. Also, if you have any questions about building landing pages or anything along that line, I'm going to do basically a whole course here going over everything from wireframe landing page designs all the way out to um, coding them out as well to walk you through the whole process of how to do that and how to do it most efficiently. As you can see that this doesn't take that much time. Most of the time of the video was me just explaining the portion. You can easily do this in under 10 minutes. Um, very six, very quickly, just really throw an idea together and throw it on here so you can be able to show, show different people. Um, it's, so it's pretty it's simple to do. Um, you have your video, you have your contact form, have your benefits, and you have your credibility section, and then you have your button at the bottom to go through and everything goes. So guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and also don't forget to go to the channel and subscribe as well. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.